Welcome to Pandora's Box video tutorials. In this lesson we want to show how to do infrared ID tracking in order to control a layer within Pandora's Box. This is the third and last part of our tracking trilogy where we end up with the 3D tracking. The basic requirements are still the same as in our first two lessons. This means we use OptiTrack IR cameras, hardware recommended by OptiTrack, Kulux ID tags, the Widget Designer Pro, the Kulux USB driver and when using USB cameras the OptiTrack camera SDK. In difference to the first two lessons we now work in the 3D world. So to track the 3D position we need a minimum of three cameras that sees a tag at any time. Further we need a Pandora's box server to work in the 3D environment. To set up our system, we simply repeat the steps we did in the 2.5D setup, with the difference that we now have three cameras. With the mouse wheel you can zoom in and out of the preview, move it in X and Y, and while holding down the Alt key you can rotate it as well. Also, we have to change our global tracking settings to 3D. Note that the Y value is now grayed out as we get it from the tag. Once we've done that, the info node shows us the X, Y and Z values of our tags. And just to repeat what we have learned in the 2.5D lesson, these values are in meters as we have calibrated the X, Y, Z position from the cameras. To work with these values in Pandora's box we have two options. The first option is to add one more range node to our system and use the X and Z values like we did it in the 2.5G tracking and use the Y value for example to scale the layer or for some other effects parameter. The second option is to send the X, Y and Z values directly without the range nodes to the layer control node. Herefore Pandora's box has to be set up in meters. What means that the camera position within Pandora's box has to be calibrated in meters. In more detail the position of the camera in our 3D space has to be the same as the position of our projector in real space. You can either measure the projector manually or use the calibration feature from the 3D Warper tool, which is explained in an extra 3D warping tutorial. When you have calibrated the camera in Pandora's box and the tracking cameras in Widget Designer with the same coordinate system, you can send the data without further conversion directly from the Widget Designer to Pandora's box. A more advanced application is to project onto the faces of a 3D object that moves and rotates at the same time. To calculate the rotation of our object, we do not only need the X, Y and Z value of one point, but of three or four points. First, we need an object file in the correct scaling and assign it to a layer in Pandora's box. Pandora's box will display the object in the 3D space depending on the object's pivot point. Then, we position the real object with the mounted tags in the same way in the real 3D space and measure the tag positions. Now we put the filter node estimate 3D four points or estimate 3D transform when using only three points between the ID tag tracker and the Pandora's box layer control node. For the source coordinates type in the measurements and for the target coordinates pick the according input value from the ID tag node. This filter node calculates the XYZ position and rotation of our object in our 3D space and sends it to the layer control node. When you move and rotate the real object, remember that every tag must be seen by a minimum of three cameras at any time. So here you can see the position of our four ID tags seen by one of our cameras, the layer with the 3D object on it within Pandora's box and the same object in real space with a track projection on it. Have fun and thank you for listening.